Volleyball skills. What are some of the ways we can hit the ball? Serving. The ball is put into play with a serve. A player stands behind the end line and must hit the ball over the net to the other team. There are underhand serves and overhand serves. In high level games, there are jump serves. Players that get a lot of practice at this skill can learn to serve the ball to a very specific spot on the other side of the net. If you hit the ball in the net or out of bounds, the other team gets a point. When underhand serving, you hit the ball right out of your hand, but for overhand serving, you have to toss it. It takes some practice to learn how to toss it just right. Passing. Passing means giving the ball to somebody else on your team. There are two ways to do this, the forearm pass and the overhead pass. When the ball comes over the net, this is the first contact and is used to try to get the ball up to a player called the setter who is waiting by the net. It is also really fun to pass a ball back and forth with a partner, even if you're not playing an official game. Let's compare. Passing is done in many sports. In volleyball, it's bouncing the ball off your forearms toward your teammate. In basketball, it's throwing or pushing the ball with a chest pass, bounce pass, or overhead pass. In soccer, it's kicking the ball to a teammate. And in hockey, it's pushing the puck to somebody else with the stick. Ready position is the same athletic stance used in many sports. Feet are apart, knees bent, and ready to move. For forearm passing hand positioning, put both palms up, one hand on top of the other, fold thumbs toward the middle, put your thumbs side by side. Point your thumbs toward the floor to make your arms very straight. This helps ensure that your arms don't come apart. Contact the ball on your forearms, not on your wrists. Lean and reach forward. Keep your eyes on the ball. Guide the ball to your target. Don't swing your arms. When you work with a partner, you get many chances to touch the ball. Repetition is important. Practice makes progress. Setting. The goal is to have the second contact set up the attacker so they can hit it or spike it over the net. Setter is a specialized position, similar to the quarterback in football. Setting is an important part of the offense. The setter can set the ball in many ways, high and lofty, low and quick, forward or backward. Important things to remember. Start in the athletic position, balanced and ready to move fast. Use the pads of your fingers, not the tips of your fingers. The ball does not touch the palms of your hands. You touch the ball with both hands at the same time, and hands must be overhead. Hitting, which is also called spiking. Hitters must be ready to jump and hit the ball down on the other side. Special footwork called the approach makes it easier to jump high and hit hard. This skill takes a lot of coordination and precise timing. Just like in baseball pitching, the turn of the hips creates power and snapping your wrist creates topspin on the ball. A spectacular hit is one of the most exciting things to see. Blocking, a defensive skill. To defend against the hitters, players on the other side scoot together and jump at the same time to try to stop the ball. They jump with both arms up and hands spread out wide. They have to be careful not to touch the net because a net violation gives the other team a point. They also have to be careful not to land on each other's feet. If the ball tips off the blocker's hands, it does not count as one of the three contacts on their side. After they block, they have to hurry to get ready to hit. This takes a lot of energy, especially in a long rally. Blockers must watch the ball on the other side of the net and be ready to move and jump quickly. Digging, another defensive skill. A dig is the first contact when the ball comes over the net from the other team's attack. When the other team is attacking, your team is on defense. There are detailed offenses and defenses in volleyball, just like there are in basketball and football and other sports. If the blockers miss the ball, the other players have to get it, and they must be in position before the ball comes over the net. When playing defense, players must be down low and ready to move fast. 
They sometimes lunge, dive, or slide to get the ball. Do not try this at home. Only do this after a qualified coach has taught you safely. When digging, it is okay to hit the ball with one hand as a last resort. Knee pads protect the knees when diving for the ball. Why is one person wearing a different color uniform? At high levels of volleyball, there is a special defensive position, similar to the safety in football. They wear a different uniform because they have different rules for when they can be in the game and what they can do. Benefits of playing team sports. Sports bring people together and are good for us in so many ways. Develop relationships with others, build friendships and have mentors, spend quality time with others, experience a wide range of emotions, the joy and accomplishment, the highs of winning, the agony of defeat, practice cooperation and compromise, learn to manage frustration and disappointment, challenge yourself, gain skills that will help you in life, improve fitness and health, try new things, play for the love of the game, have fun, give it a try. Being on a team is proven to improve self-esteem and critical thinking skills. Develop leadership, discipline, persistence, and resilience. Remember, volleyball is for everybody. Go have some fun!